Hello. May God in the heavens guard your life. Today, we will pray Psalm 54 and Psalm 130 and ask God to grant us the gift of health. When Jesus came to earth, he announced the arrival of the kingdom of God. And in the kingdom of God, where his presence and glory dwell, no sin or sickness can exist. We are in the kingdom of God now, but it is not fully manifested yet. But you can establish it in your heart and in your life. Wherever Jesus preached the message of God, he healed people. Healing accompanies the message of the kingdom. This is the kingdom of God, in which you don't need to be sick, broke, or persecuted by evil. Illness and all the works of evil are things of the devil. And Jesus came to give life, and life in abundance. It means being full in every way, having health, peace of mind, prosperity, and happiness. Healing comes with the possession we take of it. Mark chapter 16, verses 17 to 18 say, And these signs will accompany those who believe. In my name they will drive out demons, they will speak in new tongues, they will pick up snakes with their hands, and when they drink deadly poison, it will not hurt them at all. They will place their hands on sick people, and they will get well. Therefore, know that you should not wait to be healed. You can heal yourself because God has given us authority for that. When he sent us the Holy Spirit, who works in us, healing is something that Jesus already paid for, something for which he already suffered. He took upon himself all our pains, and through his sacrifice on the cross, we were healed of all our suffering. But for some people, illness is like a mountain they can't overcome. In Mark chapter 11, verse 23 says, For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he saith. So speak. You must cast out this disease. Command in the name of the Lord Jesus, and order it to leave your life forever. Say, I command this disease to leave my body now, in the name of the Lord Jesus. The Holy Spirit came to dwell among men, giving us supernatural ability to perform the works of Christ. To be healed, we need to believe in the power of God and that His Holy Spirit can act in our lives. We need to believe in Him who sent His Son and in all His power. We need to believe in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and we need to be in communion with them. We need to have faith and believe in communion that God will act in our lives. Faith releases the anointing of healing. Faith comes by hearing the Word. The more we hear the Word of God, the stronger our faith becomes, and the more strength we have to perform miracles through the name of Jesus. Man of God, woman of God, it is your responsibility to activate the gift God has given us. Through your faith, command healing in the name of the Lord Jesus. Use your faith through the Holy Spirit and in the name of your Son, our Lord Jesus. Let's pray. Repeat these words with me as this prayer should be made by you. For your intention, open your heart to God now. Save me. O oh God, by thy name, and judge me by thy strength. Hear my prayer. O oh God, give ear to the words of my mouth. For strangers are risen up against me, and oppressors seek after my soul. They have not set God before them. Selah. Behold, God is mine helper. The Lord is with them that uphold my soul. He shall reward evil unto mine enemies. Cut them off in thy truth. I will freely sacrifice unto thee. I will praise thy name, O Lord, for it is good. For he hath delivered me out of all trouble, and mine I hath seen his desire upon mine enemies. Out of the depths have I cried unto thee, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let thine ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. If thou, Lord, 
shouldest mark iniquities, O Lord, who shall stand? But there is forgiveness with thee, that thou mayest be feared. I wait for the Lord, my soul doth wait, and in his word do I hope. My soul waits hath for the Lord more than they that watch for the morning. I say, more than they that watch for the morning. Let Israel hope in the Lord, for with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption. And he shall redeem Israel from all his iniquities. Lord, my God and beloved Father, forgive me for allowing negative feelings and thoughts to open the door for any sickness or ailment to enter into me. I renounce all these feelings in the name of the Lord Jesus. I know that you will extend your power, understanding, and healing upon me. I put my trust in God. I live by faith. I walk by faith, not by sight. I am responsible for my choices and decisions, and I make a decision now. I choose life. I choose blessings. I choose the word of God. My heart will never stray from the Lord, my God. I will always serve the Lord and remain steadfast and anointed by God. I have faith, and I have no doubt that I can speak to any illness and curse it at its root. I declare that it leaves my life, dries up, and dies in the name of the Lord Jesus, just as the Lord did with the fig tree. I declare that I have immense faith in the power of Jesus Christ. I will be sustained by the power of God's hand upon me. I walk by faith, not by sight. The Lord is the strength of my life. I believe it is God's will for me to be healed. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I break every curse of sickness, disease, and premature death from my body. Now, say the name of your illness and proclaim. Illness, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I command you to leave my body now. Repeat. Illness, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I command you to leave my body now. Declare. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I am healed. Pray with me. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the honor, and the glory, today, tomorrow, and forever. Amen. Glory to God.